Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and this is my spoiler-free Doctor Strange the Movie 2016 review. Uh, I got to see an early uh, showing. Uh, yeah, I'm going to see this again <laughs> on the 4th. Oh my god, this was, this was a beyond amazing movie. This was fantastic. Okay, spoiler-free. How do I do spoiler-free? Let's see. This movie was awesome. How about that? <laughs> okay, spoiler free. Let's break this down for real. There were many moments in this movie that were straight out of the comics. Many that were referenced and many that were completely isolated from the comics. There were things that completely defied the comics and every one of them were done very smartly. They were, they were pulled off, they were executed excellently. I mean, when push comes to shove, oh man, the character development in here. We're talking about a Doctor Strange who got to experience all the things, all that fall from grace stuff that we're used to in the comics that we'd seen in every one of his origin stories. It's still here. But his, the main villain, uh, Baron Mordo, he's not a villain. I don't know that it's a spoiler to say that, that he's not the bad guy in this. In fact, he's actually Strange's best friend. Man, how do I explain Baron Mordo? Okay, Jeff Johns, his run with the Green Lantern. When they he did that retcon in the comics where Sinestro and Hal Jordan were actually practically best friends and worked together very closely... With each other. He was his mentor, right? Sinestro mentored Green Lantern. And then all of a sudden there was that fall from grace kind of thing. It's kind of like that in here, except that here, Mordo is so fleshed out that he never actually falls from grace. Does he become evil? Honestly, I don't even know that I can call it evil. I... I'm kind of rooting for the guy in many ways because he it makes so much sense what he's going through, what's going on. In the comics, he was originally stated to be more powerful than Doctor Strange. He was studying under the Ancient One much longer. He, who, he, he was more powerful and just strange through his understanding and through what he's had to deal with and the fact that he's a very unbelievably quick and clever thinker is how he's always been able to beat Mordo in the past until eventually yes he did actually just become more powerful but in here no Mordo is more powerful in pretty much every way you could imagine but Strange once again is very clever in this one thing that they mention here is that Strange has a photographic memory I'm cool with this. I have no problems with him stating something like this because it wasn't really his his memory or his great intelligence that made him so spectacular in the comics. It was always his extremely dexterous hands where he could manipulate anything. And he, he, he's the kind of guy who could draw a straight line free form, you know, with no tools except the implement he's drawing with. But it's just the idea that he's got a, a rigid program that he follows but the ancient one is extremely flawed in this movie she is unbelievably flawed it's it's great and it's not so great you, you get to see how she's not so sure of herself in some regards the way that she's training him she's not sure if he's actually going to survive which is fine technically i mean i don't have any problem with the way she's doing it. It's just that they're showing a very different ancient one. And that's great because this is a different universe. This movie didn't stray far from Doctor Strange's origin, but every person around him, yes. There's a huge disparity between the comics and this and this Marvel Cinematic Universe. And I don't have any problems with it whatsoever. I'm an old school, avid comics fan. Look at my channel, look at the, some of the things that I'm doing on the channel, and you'll see, I mean, I'm going way back, to, back to the times before I was even born, and giving detailed explanations about these characters, because they, they're so enrapturing to me. Here, they're changing this, and I should be angry, shouldn't I? But I'm not, because they just do it so expertly. It's 
great. So without giving too many spoilers, but we're giving you an idea of what you're in for, they don't practice magic the same way they do in the comics. There are di things that are different here. They don't have lightning or, or energy that in, in the comics they would call it like his Eldritch Bolt or his Bolts of Bedevilment, you know, where he could just, boom, shoot a bolt of pure magical energy at people. They don't have that here. Or at least you don't see Doctor Strange being able to do it. Everybody's doing it by having a what's called a sling ring, where if you have that, you're able to, sh to throw like a very short distance energy attack, like like an energy whip, and you're, you're smacking people with it, and you could fight with it and things like that. You could form weapons, uh, and you could form shields, uh, the Eldritch shields. It's very different, but I'm presuming that this is just simply a focus. And that, you know, like a, like a magic wand. You can cast magic without a magic wand in the Harry Potter universe. It's just you're not going to get that same level of control because you're not using a focus to channel your energy. It'd be like uh, Harry Dresden using his magic without his staff because there's no focus now. So it's that's, that's what I'm presuming they're going to go with this. I hope that's where they're going to go with this. But... You know, the magic is dumbed down a lot. Just like in the comics, back in the Strange Tales, Loki would absolutely destroy Doctor Strange. He would tear him to shreds. There would be no chance for Doctor Strange to fight back, even. This would not be a fair fight. Um, well, in the comics, he's got a chance, but he's not going to beat Loki. But here, who? Oh, nah, no chance. Not a snowball's chance in hell. And... Ha ha ha, it is acknowledged, no spoilers, but you're going to love it. <laughs> Guys, all I'm going to say is make sure you stay until after all the credits have ended because it's Marvel. You know, don't, don't be that person. I'm telling you right now, if you're not a huge diehard Marvel movie fan, understand the way that we diehard Mar Marvel movie fans think of you guys. When we're sitting down in the theater after the lights kind of come on, you know, a little bit or whatever, and the credits are rolling, and you're getting up and leaving, we're laughing at you and thinking, don't you even watch movies? Because there's going to be a mid credit scene, and there's going to be an after credit scene. The most of a spoiler that I'm going to give is that Dormammu is in this movie. I didn't think he would be. I thought it would just be a quick little scene, like a, not even a cameo, like just a quick little scene like if you saw my uh, my most recent trailer review for the featurette for Doctor Strange, that would just be a glimpse. No, no, no. There's more than a glimpse in here. There's actual conversation back and forth. And there might just be a little bit of action. All I'm going to say is, once again, Doctor Strange is amazing. Not just because his mastery of the his abilities and, and what he does, but because he is such a quick thinker and he's extremely clever. So yeah, I, oh, at this point, I can't see anybody else playing this character except better Benedict Cumberbatch. This was such a spot on role. And I'm going to make this suggestion to Marvel. Can we please have a spinoff involving just the Cloak of Levitation? Because it was that good. That good. That amazing. Guys, that's all I'm going to give you, really. Because, whoo, just stay until after the credits are finished. This was a big departure from the comics. Big enough that I was literally looking at it like going, what? But, oh, man. Fantastic. Fantastic. So, I'm going to give this movie an A. Uh, you have to see this movie. You got to see this movie twice. Marvel, please rush this to DVD because I can't wait to just add it to the library because, wow, I want to sit here and watch this on my screen at home. But there's nothing like seeing it on the big screen, man. It was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. I got to go and see this in 3D now. It's like that. Yes, it's like that. Guys, you too can attend the Comic Book University and be a fellow professor. And it's tuition free. You just hit subscribe. I mean, how easy is that, right? No student loan repayments, nothing. Anyway, this is Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Guys, class dismissed.